how do ionic equations work? There are two types. There's a total ionic equation and a net ionic equation. And the really important one to get down to is the net. Let's first of all deal with the total ionic equation. A total ionic equation is one in which the compounds in a particular balanced simple equation, so uh, reaction, are broken up into their constituent ions, the ions that make up those compounds, as long as that compound can dissolve and dissociate its ions in water. So we're talking about soluble ionic compounds here. So here's my, here is an example. We've got a fully balanced equation for a precipitation reaction. I've got sodium iodide solution reacting with lead nitrate solution to form sodium nitrate in solution and lead iodide solid, so a precipitate of lead iodide. Precipitates, don't forget, are formed when two soluble reactants in solution react together to form an insoluble product, which in this case would be our lead iodide. So my example of a total ionic equation would be taking these compounds and breaking them or dissociating them apart into their constituent ions and listing those out. So my sodium iodide can be broken up into the two sodium ions and two iodide ions that make up the two sodium iodide units. My lead nitrate can be broken up into a lead ion, a 2 plus, and two nitro, uh, nitrate ions, NO3, uh, NO3 minus, which there are two of them. Okay. And on the other side of my equation, I can break my... Uh, so, uh, my my sodium nitrate up into sodium ions again, two of them, and two nitrate ions. And I haven't broken up my lead iodide because it is insoluble in solution. It won't dissociate into its ions in water. So it can be left as a solid. So any uh, insoluble product uh, can be left as itself in my total ionic equation. Now I try and uh, simplify this to a, to a net ionic equation. And what that does is it removes any spectator ions. These are ions which have not changed charge or physical state across the course of the reaction. Ions that have been spectating, that have been not changing, just watching almost what's going on around them throughout the course of the chemical reaction. If you look across the two sides of this equation, you can hopefully, I've already circled them in purple, but hopefully you can spot the ones that haven't done anything. So at the start of my reaction, I have two soluble sodium ions with a plus one charge. At the end of my reaction, I have two soluble sodium ions with a plus one charge. They haven't really got involved. At the beginning of my reaction, I have two soluble aqueous uh, nitrate ions, uh, which, haven't, uh, which are here. And at the end of my reaction, I have two aqueous nitrate ions with a minus one charge, minus one charge. They haven't changed their... Um, redox uh, properties, they haven't uh, changed state, they are spectating. So it looks like the only ones really getting involved in a, in a, in a redox reaction, but also in, in change of state, is the, is the uh, lead ions and the iodide ions reacting to form lead iodide. So my net ion equation focuses on these non-spectator ions. So I cancel out all the spectator ions, I'm just left with the ions of interest which are forming my insoluble product. So here is my example of a net ion equation. Lead 2 plus aqueous ions reacting with uh, 2 iodide ions aqueous again to form my lead iodide compound, which is insoluble.